Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's Kiana Sharice and today has been a day, but this is the video I really want to go up next. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna try. Well, I'm not gonna try, I'm gonna succeed because this, the question will be the quality, but I should tell you this is a clothing video before I get, just get into my rambling. I tried to look like something today. I filmed a video earlier, which will be up after this one at some point, but it's so hot and humid. This is just, um, this is what's left of the face, but actually it doesn't look too bad. It looks better than how I'm about to look at all these try-ons because I did it this time where I filmed the little try-on separately and I'll just talk about it, you know, side by side how I do sometimes. That's what I did this time. And I am like trying to get this bit of sunlight from the window before the sun sets. It's, it's not looking real bright, but... <sighs> So anyways, I went shopping at, I think, three places over the past few months. Now, my channel's not monetized, so I can't really be doing those. I spent $500 at Shein. Um, no, maybe not. If, if I spend $500, it's not gonna be at Shein, that's for sure. Maybe rep, not the point. The point is, I just got a couple things. Like, I was just shopping for me, and I'm gonna show y'all what I got. So that's why I wanted to get this up, just because I would hate for stuff to sell out. And especially one of these places, they tend to sell out pretty quickly. So I wanted to get this up ASAP. Now, I don't know if Honest does sponsorships or like works with influencers, but if they do, holler at me. I love this stuff. I usually get this um, half tea and half lemonade. It's just a tad sweet. I get the kids fruit punch juice. That's good. Anyways. Oh, also, if you wanted to know, um, this is just a wild intro, but this is the Fenty Ease Drop Tint. I'll be talking about it in the next video, but this is like a sneak peek of how it's held up after hours of sweating and humidity. All right, so I'm pulling up my iPad so I can watch the videos I took, um, the same videos I'm gonna insert over here so I can just look at them while I'm talking. Now, surprisingly, my first round of clothes is from Fashion Nova and I was desperate. I really don't shop there like that, but I was desperate. And I'll tell y'all up front that I did get everything in a 3X unless the reviews were saying that it ran big and it, I got it in a 2X. But I should have went down. I should have got a 2X. And then if they said it ran big, I should have got a 1X. Um, I was just really nervous about their sizing because I've had a lot of things not fit before. But I did take my time as far as picking out clothes, like looking at the materials and stuff like that so yeah so this first piece here is the shirt and i just thought this was so cute and like i like i like tops like these and i want to get into more having more items like this in my closet this kind of just like i call it fairy aesthetic that's not what it is but just like kind of soft lacy that type of vibe i will say this was a 3X, so it did fit me bigger than what I would want. I feel like a lot of Fashion Nova shirts, the cuff and the arm is usually either too long or too big or both. The body felt okay, and I also felt like it looked better and kind of hung better as being off the shoulder. I did try this on without a bra, and I felt like it actually looked good enough. Like, I don't, I don't feel like I have to wear a bra with this one. I'll probably wear like a little bandeau just to have something. But yeah, I think this is super cute. I'm so irritated because I, only thing with Fashion Nova, it, with returns and exchanges is like, they don't do that, but they don't do exchanges. You just have to order it again after getting your credit. So I decided it wasn't worth the effort to try to get a 2X, but I would really like this in a 2X. But this is, this is cute. Sum it up, this is cute. This next top I also got from Fashion Nova. It just was really soft and comfortable. And you see both these tops have like those um, where you can pull it up and lengthen or shorten the shirt. I feel like, I guess that's a trend now, but I do like it. So I liked to make it, um, made the shirt a little more cropped on me. It was ray, it was mostly rayon. So it felt really soft and felt really nice. Once again, 3X should have got a 2X, but I've already worn it and I feel I feel really good in it like it feels nice um yeah 
So this next piece I got from Fashion Nova is a dress that I'm actually on the fence about because I don't know, it looks a little grown. Like it's not sexy enough, but I guess it's like a good dress for like if I need to look sophisticated, yeah. Um, it also has that thing thingy where you can make the dress shorter. That gives a little pizzazz when you make it shorter in the middle, but it's just like no cleavage. It's, I don't know. I definitely wouldn't wear these undergarments with it. I would probably have on like a shaper panty or something just to give a little bit more smoothing um, or maybe something over it. But the way it is now, it's definitely not what I would be wearing underneath. Probably a different bra too. The bra isn't like smoothing how I would want. I'm actually on the fence on if I'm gonna keep this one or not because I'm just trying to think would I actually wear this? And I don't know. But what I also got is like this really long to the floor cardigan. That's kind of a, it's a lightish weight material. It would do a little something for you, but it's definitely not like winter or whatever. And I've been wanting something like this for a long time. I just feel like it's one of those pieces that you can like throw over other outfits and it makes it an outfit. So I just threw it over the dress here so you can kind of see what it's looking like. I wouldn't actually pair this together. I feel like it's too... It's too much happening but i have been wanting something like this forever and also it's a nice material feels soft it feels how i wanted so that's a winner and the last thing i got from fashion nova which is a surprising fail is this track suit and it's surprising because i already own it in a 2x and it fits fine the pants i feel like could be a little looser just to be more comfortable so i got it in a 3x and it took everything to get this over my hip to take this video for y'all like it took everything and i'm like how was the size up tighter i don't understand i'm also sitting kind of straight my back up get some posture but yeah this is this one is going back for sure um but the color is really cute it's louder than i thought it was gonna be but i do think it's a nice color but no so i made two orders to fashion to figure one of my favorite sites and one of them actually got lost i'm kind of upset about that because both of the items sold out it was three items but two i really cared about they are sold out already but i did have a swimsuit and i was a little nervous because i you know i'll be it's i feel like it's different taking pictures in a swimsuit than taking a youtube video in a swimsuit but anyways i'm gonna show y'all okay this is from the tabria collection tabria being the it's probably the most popular plus size like commercial model out there um she released this suit last year with fashion to figure and people loved it so they brought it back in a black and in like a beige color and also this cover-up is from that collection and on the site it said the model size down and everything for this collection so i sorted it i got the swimsuit in a two and that well let me talk about I got the cover up in a one and it is a little tight on my arms. I probably could have used a two, but it does go to the floor. So like, I'm not mad at it. It's not uncomfortable, but probably could have did a two. It has a little tie, but it doesn't completely close. It just holds it together. And the swimsuit I got in a two and I'm undecided if that's the right size for me, just because I feel like the straps that are like on the stomach and on the side, I feel like if I, I don't need any more room in those straps, what I need is like a little bit more material in the actual stomach covering, if that makes sense. Cause like this, like I need just a little more coverage on the belly, but the straps, I feel like if they were longer, they would like kind of not be looking taut, like not how they're supposed to look. So I don't know, but um yeah i'm gonna have to i'm gonna have to hit the pool hit the something and really get y'all a good picture in the suit because baby i look right this whole day i look raggedy i always tell myself like it'll be fine if you don't look okay when you do the try on just whatever but then i forget i have to put the try on in the video the try on has to go in the video I definitely feel like editing me is gonna have to poke into this video. I just feel like I'm go going too fast, but I hope not. So the last place I got pieces from was from Rev Dolls, and I really hope these are in stock. This is what I worried about um, going out of stock because 
they just these last few releases they've done have been really popular like really really these were actually um these had sold out before i purchased them but then they came back in stock so hopefully they're there or at least the link is because i do notice with rev dolls sometimes if it sells out they just take the listing off the site altogether even if it may be coming back so hopefully i can get the links for y'all also i know i have a referral link for rev dolls i'll check if i can get one if they do that on the other sites if they do i'll put it down below and i'll tell you like what it gets you so basically i know for rev dolls it gives you 20 percent off um so if they're not already having a sale and you want some stuff and you want to use my code because you saw it on my video you know what hey of course not sponsored it's just a referral link it's not an affiliate link um but it could be an affiliate link one day i'm really trying to get in with rap dolls i i want to get in with rap dolls i i just love the clothes i love it i love the clothes they feel so good actually oh this is one of the dresses right i have it on right now that's the first okay that's what i'm about to talk about <laughs> so this dress is a high-low dress. It goes to about my knees in the front and almost to my ankles in the back. In the back, it is a one-piece, but in the front, we have a cutout. And depending on how you kind of style it, you can pull the cutout either... You can make a lot of space or you can pull it up so that it's just a little. It does kind of stay where you put it. So I noticed I was taking some pictures earlier and I was like, I had a whole... I didn't know I even had that much space between um, the boob and my belly button. It's like, where's all this coming from? So you can have a whole lot of space if you want to. Also, if you want to be a little scandalous, instead of just wearing the cup like completely over your boob, what you can do is, now this depends on the size of your chest now. I'm, this is this is for the smaller busted women. You can kind of put the cup over so that it's just laying right on top and you can kind of get that under boob um visual that's cute that's a little sexy but like i said if i don't know how that works with the real big one so yeah now the pattern is cute i normally wouldn't buy something with a leaf on it but i guess i do appreciate that as far as plus size fashion rev dolls doesn't just slap a flower on everything because people are good for that people are good for just putting a flower design on everything and they switched it up they said we can give you some tropical leaves okay i also got this dress in a size one it actually i feel like it fits pretty good the only thing is the arm is slightly tight but it's stretchy so it's not enough that i would size up because everything else like the waist or whatever i have plenty of room there that's you have plenty of room everywhere and this is also a good dress for like if you're worried about your belly because the way it hangs it doesn't cling um like some other dresses i have are more kind of like that more a-line they're a little bit more fitted to the belly this one is very much like skater skirt vibes so that's something to note but yeah i took this dress down to um the waterfront today and took some pictures and stuff and i had a few people stop me it was just blowing in the wind it was a moment it was a moment <laughs> Now this other piece I got from Rev Dolls is, it's a two piece set. It's the top and bottom are sold separately. I got the top in a one and the pants in a two because I just wasn't sure. I feel good about getting the pants in a two. I just wanted it to not be like tight on my stomach where like in a way that it wasn't like, I wanted it to look how it's supposed to look kind of. And the top in a one, I actually feel like like I had a lot of room in the sleeve, but it wasn't quite coming down to cover my back as much as what I would want because this dress, I mean, this two piece is actually very similarly designed to a dress I have from Rev Dolls. It's literally the top is like that, but it's just connected um, and then it flows out into a skirt. And that's what's holding the top down in the back is the fact that it is a dress. It's a one piece. I hope I'm explaining what I'm trying to get to right here and so this top is made pretty much exactly the same and like it's like the same design but it's just a separate pants um they do that a lot they like use their kind of same designs and just switch up the print or switch up maybe the cut they'll just switch something up put a sleeve on it they do that a lot see I noticed that so I would if it was like easier to make an exchange I would consider getting a two in the top just so I had that little bit more room but it's not that big of a deal and it is like a full functioning tie you can tie it as tight as you can to keep them in place but yeah i feel like this is so cute the yellow is really doing something now normally i would not buy the fact that this is both a leaf print and that's a leaf print i normally wouldn't do something like that but 
they were just both cute. So that's what we did. I also rarely, if never, I, I don't own any wide leg pants. This is, this is new for me. Cause I kind of feel like before they just looked, when I walked, it just wasn't looking right. I don't know. But these do go all the way to the floor on me. I am 5'4". I should have said that earlier. Um, it would look fine with like a slight heel for me or they could be taken in. I basically feel really good in the outfit. I feel confident in it and that's really all that matters. All right, y'all, that is everything that I purchased recently. No, it's not. I didn't do the Forever 21 stuff. Oh man, thought I was done. <sighs> I thought I was about to end on a bang, but I guess not. So I went to Forever 21 actually in person and they didn't have their dressing rooms open. So I decided to guess on my sizes, but I saw the, they have like a Juicy Couture collab and it caught my eye for sure, but I already returned this. It's already back. The bandeau, I wasn't sure what size to get and I'm trying to see if it's see-through because of course I wore it braless. I'm trying to, mm, what's going on here? Anyways, I got it in a zero just because I wanted it to be tight enough to wear without a bra, but I probably should have got a one because I do actually have another bandeau, bandeau from Forever 21. And I, that actually might be in a one, I'm not sure. Um, but I don't, it's like, it's cute enough. It's cute enough, but it, I don't know. I got the sweatpants in a 2X and generally they fit. I probably, if I tried them on, I would have got a 3X just cause I really like a whole lot of room in my sweatpants. I don't want them to be fitted like joggers, I guess, but they don't have any pockets. And I'm like, I do remember they were $37 and I was like $37 at Forever 21. I need a pocket, okay? But yeah, looking at it together, <laughs> I don't know. Like I, it's like I see what I was trying to see in the store, but it's it didn't come to completion for me. And then I never even got a picture in it. I already took it back. So, but I also got this white top, which I did keep. I got it in a two X, and I picked it up mostly because it was just really soft. And I was like, this is a cute basic, cute elevated basic that feels good. It has um, like a corset sort of vibe in the front. And I don't, I definitely wouldn't wear it the way I have it in this video, but I haven't actually worn it out yet. But I would probably just wear this with like some jeans, some high waisted jeans, I'm thinking. I don't know, but yeah, it's, an, it's a nice feeling cheap top. Now that is actually the end of the haul. So I went to, well, shop somewhere online or in store with Fashion Nova, Fashion to Figure, Reb Dolls and Forever 21. And for the most part, it was a success. Like I said, I returned those two items from Forever 21. I'm probably gonna return two items from Fashion Nova. Love the Reb Doll stuff. Fashion figure with the swimsuit. I'm gonna keep that and hopefully get you some fire picks at some point. I'm trying to get me some braids maybe next month. I don't know. But what I'm really trying to do right now is go get the frosty that I got on my way home that I put in the fridge that's probably liquid. I wanna go eat that. <laughs> so I'm about to go sit outside and eat that and then come back and edit this and hopefully not cry at how dark it's looking. <laughs> If you enjoyed this video, please like the video and subscribe to my channel and let me know what outfit you're feeling down below. Purr. Uh, I will see y'all in the next one. Bye.